The University of KwaZulu-Natal, located in the picturesque province of KwaZulu-Natal, is a teaching and research-led university with a proud and rich heritage of academic excellence. In 2010, UKZN celebrated 100 years of higher education, a centenary of scholarship, innovation and community engagement and is ranked in the top 2% of the world's leading academic institutions according to the academic rankings of world universities. UKZN is spread across five campuses in KZN and consists of four colleges. The College of Health Sciences is spread across four of the five campuses. Howard College Campus, where our School of Nursing and Public Health is based, is a vibrant coastal city known for its warm winters, beaches, and coastal resorts. Located within an environmental conservancy about 8 kilometers from the CBD of Durban is our Westville campus, where our School of Health Sciences and the School of Laboratory Medicine and Medical Sciences is based. The Nelson R. Mandela School of Medicine campus is based in the industrial area of Umbilo in Durban alongside the King Edward VIII Hospital, where much of the training takes place. The campus is home to our School of Clinical Medicine and the School of Laboratory Medicine and Medical Sciences. It also houses world-renowned research centers, including the Center for the AIDS Program of Research in South Africa, known as CAPRISA, the Guazulu Natal Research Innovation and Sequencing Platform, CRISP and the Africa Health Research Institute. The Peter Maritzburg campus, located in the Guazulu Natal Midlands and close to numerous nature reserves and parks, houses many of our medical and nursing students who are trained in the surrounding regional and district hospitals. The College of Health Sciences is a multi professional institution devoted to the pursuit of national and global excellence. All of our programs are accredited by relevant professional bodies, including the Health Professions Council of South Africa, the South African Nursing Council, and the South African Pharmacy Council. Many of our academics are renowned leaders in their fields and have made significant contributions to global health policies. In 2020, the college led the response to COVID-19 in South Africa with having created the first war room in KZN in response to the pandemic. Many of our staff served on the South African National Command Coronavirus Council, advising and implementing appropriate protocols within the country and actively contributing to COVID-19 testing and vaccine development. UKZN scientists also produced the first COVID-19 rapid saliva test and identified the Omicron and the Beta variant. We invite you to join us and be a part of this dynamic institution that has achieved global excellence whilst producing health professionals who are fit for purpose in the African context. Throughout South Africa, there is a need to optimize service delivery and increase the number of healthcare professionals in all cadres across the health spectrum. The KZN Department of Health, together with the College of Health Sciences, have developed and rolled out a decentralized clinical training approach with the aim to enhance clinical training to be relevant to the South African context. Four decentralized clinical training platforms otherwise known as DCTPs, have been developed and our students are trained in these platforms during the course of their studies. These areas include Gwelezane, Mpangeni area, Northern KZN, Matateni, Newcastle area, Western KZN, Port Shepston area, Southern KZN, and Peter Maritzburg, Midlands of KZN. The college has sourced accommodation in and around the clinical training sites and also provides transport to the students. 
expert college staff who are based in the DCTs are dedicated to ensuring the well-being of the student with land support, counselling, administrative and logistical support. Please note that all first-time South African applicants to UKZN for entry into degree study in the first semester of an academic year must apply via the CAO or Central Applications Office. Obtain the CAO application form and CAO handbook from the CAO on 031-268-4444 or CAO's website at www.cao.ac.za. The closing dates for our programs are 30th June, Medicine, 30th September, All Health Sciences, Medical Sciences and Nursing Programs. The purpose of this degree is to equip students with knowledge of how the body is structured, and this is known as anatomy. It provides the foundation of the macro and micro structures, and also introduces students to an understanding of how living cells and the human body function. In addition to traditional learning, we make use of cadaveric material, state-of-the-art 3D anatomy learning resources, allowing integration of 3D virtual anatomy into lectures and other teaching scenarios. Career opportunities for graduates exist in medicine, pharmaceutical and forensic research laboratories, universities and technicons, as well as anatomy museums where you can become a curator. Anatomists acquire skills that will enable them to observe, investigate, demonstrate and report in accordance with scientific methods. These methods are based on aspects of human anatomical variations, surgical and clinically applied anatomy, and forensic anthropology. This is a three-year degree, so the requirements for admission would be a national senior certificate with English, life orientation, maths, life sciences and physical sciences, all at a level four. We will only consider the application if it is a choice one to three only. And the points you will require is 30 to 48. An audiologist is a healthcare professional who specializes in identifying, assessing and preventing hearing impairment. Audiologists have extensive training and skills to evaluate the hearing of adults, babies and children of all ages. They work with patients as part of a multidisciplinary team of professionals to identify, assess and manage hearing loss, balance and other ear related disorders. Audiologists undertake hearing assessments, specialized audiological diagnostic testing, the fitting of hearing aids, and the use of auditory technology such as cochlear implants, hearing conservation programs in industries, and therapy with children and adults, including the elderly, those who are deaf and hard of hearing. The purpose of our four-year program is to provide South Africa, and KwaZulu-Natal in particular, with skilled audiologists to ensure efficient, effective and accessible hearing healthcare service delivery in public and private sectors such as hospitals, special schools and industry. Our admission requirements include a National Senior Certificate with English and Life Orientation at Level 4 and Mathematics and Life Sciences or Physical Sciences at Level 3. We will only consider the application if the choice is from one to three only 
and the minimum point is 30 to 48. therapists function within the oral health team. They focus on curative care such as patient examination, diagnosis of common oral diseases, taking of x-rays, tooth extractions on both deciduous teeth and adult teeth under local anesthesia, restorations on teeth and treating gum disease through scaling and polishing and root planing. Training encompasses the acquisition of preclinical and clinical skills relevant to the scope of practice, the patient or client care in clinical and community settings. Students receive their training in various clinical and community platforms as arranged by our discipline. In the third year of study, students spend most of their time working on patients in the different clinical disciplines of dentistry, which is all within the scope of dental therapy. Oral hygienists, however, focus on preventative care, such as oral health education and promotion through patient education at the chair side and at a community level. They also perform curative care, such as treating gum disease through scaling and polishing and root planing under local anesthesia, treating hypersensitive teeth and performing tooth whitening procedures. They can also work closely with dental specialists such as an orthodontist in placing the brackets for braces. Both dental therapists and oral hygienists can work in the public sector as well as in private practice and can perform all functions within the scope of primary and secondary levels of prevention in dentistry. Both programs are a duration of three years. The admission requirement is a national certificate with English and life orientation at level four and maths and life sciences at level three. We will only consider applications if your choice is one two or three only and you require points between 30 and 48. Greetings everyone, uh, my name is Professor Ngao Zatlova. I'm a full professor, I'm also the head of the Dermatology Department at UKZN as well as the Dean and Head of School at the School of Clinical Medicine. Few fields offer a wider variety of opportunities. Every day in communities around the country, doctors work in neighborhood clinics, hospitals, offices, even homeless shelters and schools to care for people in need. Doctors also do many other things such as developing exciting new treatments for cancer, genetic disorders, and infectious diseases like HIV and AIDS, and the coronavirus that we know about. Academic physicians share their skills and wisdom by teaching medical students and registrars. Others, doctors, will work with health maintenance organizations, pharmaceutical companies, medical device manufacturers, health insurance companies, or in corporations directing health and safety programs. People with medical skills are in demand everywhere. The UKZN degree uses a mix of problem-based learning, didactic lectures, clinical bedside teaching, rural attachments, and research electives. Candidates are exposed to clinical situations from the first year onwards with increasing time spent in wards and clinics with increasing responsibility. It is important to note that acceptance into the medical program is highly competitive. Training requirements are governed by the Health Professions Council of South Africa, which we call HPCSA, 
for the degree of MBSHP, which is the medical degree. The major clinical disciplines contributing to the undergraduate teaching program include internal medicine, family medicine, pediatrics, surgery, psychiatry, obstetrics, and gynecology, with contributions from other disciplines during the curriculum. Of course, this is a long degree. It's a six-year degree, and admission requirements are as follows. National certificate with English, maths, and life sciences, as well as physical sciences. All these at level five. Life orientation is needed to be at level four, plus a minimum weighted average of 65%. Registered nurses are part of the multidisciplinary health team. They promote health, prevent disease, and help patients cope with illness. They are advocates and health educators for patients, families, and communities. When providing direct patient care, they observe, assess, and record symptoms, reactions, and progress in patients. They also support physicians during surgery, treatment, and examinations. They also administer medications and assist in convalescence and rehabilitation. On completion of training, they can specialize in a range of specializations in the field of nursing. The Bachelor of Nursing is a four-year, competency-based, community-oriented program which leads to registration as a general nurse and midwife with the South African Nursing Council. UKZN's discipline of nursing is recognized as a World Health Collaborating Center, a center of excellence in midwifery and nursing in the South African region. Admission requirements are the National Senior Certificate with English and Life Orientation at Level 4, Maths or Maths Literacy at Level 3, and Life Sciences at Level 4. We only consider applications if it is first choice only. The points required are 30 to 48 points excluding Life Orientation. able to detect vision problems and eye diseases by performing a comprehensive visual examination which includes testing colour vision, depth perception and focusing and coordination ability. They prescribe spectacles, contact lenses and certain drugs to help treat vision problems. Optometrist management strategy may also include specialised treatments and therapies. The multidisciplinary involvement includes caring for patients before and after surgery such as laser vision correction and cataract removal. An optometrist can practice in the public or private sector, be actively involved in research or lecture at an academic institution. This is a four-year program. Admission requirements, a National Senior Certificate degree with English and Life Orientation and Maths at Level 4 and life sciences or physical sciences at level four. We will only consider the application if it is a choices one to three only. Therapy is a person-centered profession that utilizes human potential to enable and empower people who are impaired or at risk of impairment to be able to engage in the occupations of daily life. Occupations are activities that bring meaning to people. Occupational therapy uses human occupation as a modality to promote health and well-being to address problems that may arise as a result of illness, physical or psychological impairment and disability or adverse social conditions which may negatively impact on a person's ability to function independently. Occupational therapists work with individuals 
who have developmental delays, mental, emotional and physical disabilities and those at risk of developing these type of disabilities. Patients work together with occupational therapists to improve reasoning and motor skills and to learn how to function more competently in spite of permanent disabilities. The Bachelor of Occupational Therapy program allows the graduate to register with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. This is a four-year program. Admission requirements include the National Senior Certificate with English and Life Orientation at a level four, Maths and Life Sciences or Physical Sciences at level three. We will only consider applications if it is choice one to three. The points required are 30 to 48. driven product and patient orientated profession committed to meeting the healthcare needs of all health seeking communities by being the custodian of medicines, the formulator, manufacturer, distributor and controller of safe, effective and quality medicines. Pharmacists provide essential clinical services including screening and referral services, healthcare education and information and is actively involved in the design implementation and monitoring of pharmaceutical plans. With the onset of the coronavirus, there was an immediate need for the development of safe and effective vaccines. Following rapid and successful preclinical and human trials, several vaccines were authorized for use. Pharmacists have had a critical role during the initial phases of the pandemic in not only producing cost-effective vaccines, but also providing the public with sufficient education and knowledge about the vaccine while serving on the front line as healthcare professionals that enhance rollout of COVID vaccination programs. Qualified pharmacists have diverse employment opportunities and can work in the public as well as the private sector. The BA Pharmacy degree is a four-year program followed by a year of internship and a compulsory year of community service before registration with the South African Pharmacy Council as a pharmacist. Admission requirements, National Senior Certificate with English and Life Orientation and Maths and Life Sciences and Physical Sciences at Level 4. We will only consider the application if it is choices one to three only. Physiotherapy help people maximize their quality of life. Look at physical, psychological, emotional, and social well-being. They work in the health sphere of promotion, prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Physiotherapists are involved in the management of neurological, orthopedic, and cardiorespiratory patients, and are trained to assess and treat individuals with acute conditions such as back pain and fractures as well as conditions such as heart disease, HIV, and stroke. After reviewing a patient's medical history and discussing the patient's problems and goals, physiotherapists assessed a number of factors, including the patient's posture, strength, function, breathing, coordination, and balance. Physiotherapists also assess the patient's capability of function independently in the workplace or community. Based on these assessments, they then implement treatment plan that addresses the patient's specific impairments and activity limitations, thus ensuring that the patient is able to function more efficiently in their day-to-day -day life. This is a four-year program. Admission requirements are National Senior Certificates with English and Life Orientation and Maths 
and life sciences and physical sciences at level four. We only consider the applications if it is a choice of one to three only. This interdisciplinary program involves an in-depth study of how the human body functions. The students will acquire knowledge of subcellular, cellular and whole body mechanisms by which the human organism survives and interacts within its environment both in health and disease. Career opportunities for graduates exist in medical, pharmaceutical and biological research laboratories. The food and beverage industries and in the education sector including schools, universities of technology and universities. Physiologists acquire skills that will enable them to observe, investigate, demonstrate and report in accordance with the scientific methods on aspects of body function using human, animal and computer models. This is a three-year degree. Admission requirements for this degree involve a national senior certificate with English, life orientation, maths and life sciences as well as physical sciences all at level four. We will only consider the application if it is your first, second or third choice only. The points required to gain entry into the degree are between 30 to 48. working with people of all ages from diverse backgrounds and with diverse communication needs? Do you enjoy being part of a rapidly growing dynamic profession that embraces science, medicine, education, the social sciences and linguistics? If you enjoy working in a multidisciplinary team across various work settings, a career in speech language therapy is just for you. Speech language therapy is a healthcare profession that aims to improve the quality of life of people who have or are at risk of developing a communication and swallowing disorder. Speech therapists identify, assess and manage people with cerebral palsy, autism spectrum disorder, hearing impairment, intellectual disability and language learning disability. Services are also delivered to individuals with head and neck cancer, stroke, head injury and neurodegenerative disorders. Speech therapists can work in schools, hospitals, private practice, non-governmental organizations, and within the community. The work often includes board research and practice. The Bachelor of Speech Language Therapy is a four-year degree that includes both theory and clinical practice. Graduates are required to do one year of compulsory community service upon completion of the degree. The admission requirements are a National Senior Certificate with English and Life Orientation at Level 4 and Maths and Life Sciences or Physical Sciences at Level 3. Your application will only be considered if speech language therapy is identified as one of the first three choices. Your metric points need to add up to 30 and above. We are waiting to see you join us on this exciting journey Speech language therapy, the profession just for you. The Sports Science Program provides students with a greater understanding of the physiology and scientific basis for human performance in training, competition, and recovery from sport and exercise. It also provides students with skills for recreation and leisure management, the health and fitness industry, coaching, teaching, working with disabled persons, the enhancement of sport performance, strength and conditioning, and injury prevention. Sports sciences aim to improve health, prevent illness, and help recovery from illness through programs of physical activity and leisure time activities. Sports science has become more important 
as the link between physical activity and health is increasingly recognized. Athletes in most sports also see the application of sports science as an important part of their training. The program provides opportunities for graduates in the field of personal training, sports coaching, management of health and wellness centers, medical representatives for pharmaceutical companies, and recreation personnel in the private and public sectors. Graduates can also continue their studies through an honors degree in the fields of exercise and leisure sciences. This is a three-year program. The admission requirements require a national senior certificate with English and life orientation at level four and maths or maths lit at level three and an F score with a minimum of 30 points. The College of Health Sciences serves 25% of South Africa's population, resident in KwaZulu-Natal. The disease burden in the province is ever increasing with health indicators reflecting a complex burden of disease. This consists of communicable diseases such as pneumonia, HIV, tuberculosis, COVID-19, as well as non-communicable diseases particularly type 2 diabetes mellitus and hypertension, which lead to both cardiovascular and cerebrovascular conditions. Further, KZN has a significantly high incidence of injury, both intentional and unintentional, often as a result of road safety incidents and high levels of crime. In the face of this massively increasing burden on the health system and the declining numbers of health professionals and scientists, we encourage you to join us. Join the ranks of our preeminent academics and scientists, many of whom have reached global recognition. The COVID-19 pandemic has reminded all of us of the vital role health workers play to relieve suffering and save lives. Health professionals emerged as heroes, often risking their own health to serve their patients. If you are keen to make a difference in people's lives, then this is the career for you. Come and be part of this dynamic institution.